Well, here's a suspension bridge. It's a little over 40 feet long. And uh, in this little video, I'll have some pictures of us, how we build it. And uh, this video, I'm just going to show it to you as well as uh, explain what we did. So we started off with these posts. They're five by five by eight treated. And um, they're what we call rough cut. So they're a lot less expensive than your standard. I was gonna go with the six by six by eights, but nobody had them in stock. So I found these and they seem to work out great. So the way we tied those into them, so we got these shouldered eye, boat, eye bolts. I got those at Menards. And we got these turnbuckles here, as well as the cable and the clasps to hold the cable. I got those all on Amazon. And I'll have some little pictures of where we got those. So the first thing we did is we put the posts in and each one of them has 300 pounds of cement holding them in place. They're buried three and a half inch feet. I wanted to go four, we just couldn't go any lower. And then on the other side, we basically eyed the posts to make sure that they pretty much lined up with the ones on the other side. What we did make real sure is that the distance from this post to this post was exactly the same as those two posts on the other side. So once we had the cables done, then we added the two by four by fives, which were the two by four by eight tens that we cut in half. These are pressure treated because we are in a wet environment. And we put them on, attached them to the cable here using these copper brackets that we got in the plumbing department. The nice thing about these is that you put them on here and if you notice there's a lot of play, we were able to sit here in this general area and put pretty much all of them on. So they were all right together with each other and then we can spread them out when we were ready to actually start installing the runners. So um, these are, were very uh, adjustable and easy to work with since they had those on there and we could spread them out afterwards. So that worked out nice. So once we had our, all of our 2x4x5s installed, uh, we went ahead and started installing the runners that are along here. This was some reclaimed wood that we pulled out of a, an old cabin that actually we're going to have to demo. Um, it's cherry. It's actually pretty nice, but if you notice the boards, they aren't that thick and they're wider and it looks like they're a, a one by maybe eight or something like that. I'm not even really sure. We actually pulled them off a wall and we cut them all in two, four, six, an eight foot length and if you notice we went ahead and we um, uh, set them out on different like we had the, uh, a two foot there and we have an eight foot going over to that board there and there's a four foot over there so um, we screwed those all into the the first uh, eight foot we took care of and um, we made sure that all our two by four by fives were appropriate space it's just about two feet to have these two boards meet in the middle so they could be screwed in once we did that and we carefully measured to make sure that our boards were evenly spaced between each other um, as we moved from the top here all the way down and I'll show some pictures that just show our progress how that worked and we kept moving down and kept moving down spreading these two by four by fives apart 
to get the appropriate distance as we laid out the boards all the way up to the end. We have a rather wide rock walkway, but we decided to go ahead and put some type of railing up and we kept it pretty simple. We just put some eye bolts in here and uh, we got some cheap wood over at uh, Menards and um, ran one here all the way down and ran one here all the way down and we were able to just use the 50 foot rolls. And then we actually took another roll, 50 foot roll and we skipped every so many and brought them up to the side. Uh, it's kind of for show, but some people do kind of hold on to it, and I guess it could possibly stop somebody if for whatever reason they lost their balance and started to roll off. Um, not a real long drop, so not a critical, but uh, I think it looks, makes the bridge look a lot nicer as well.